In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up your power meter to measure illumination power at the objective. This tutorial has been recorded with a Thorlabs PM100D power meter and AS170C sensor. However, illumination power measurement can be done with any other appropriate power meter from any brand. More information on power meter and sensor types is to be found in the appendix 1 of our protocol. This power meter model has a rechargeable battery and can be used without any power cable. Make sure the battery is well loaded, especially before starting a long-term stability measurement. Plug the power meter sensor into the power meter. For the model presented here, it is enough to push the plug with the pins into the corresponding interface. No screwing needed. Switch on the power meter. The power meter displays already the measured intensity. Right now, the power meter indicates the amount of ambient light falling onto the sensor. It is 335.7 microwatts. Set the wavelength you want to measure by pressing on the button marked with lambda. The bottom of the display screen shows now a menu with the different wavelengths already entered by the operator. To enter additional ones, please refer to the user manual of the power meter. One can navigate between the different wavelengths with the four arrows on the four buttons on the right of the screen. The selected wavelength appears highlighted on the screen. Press the button OK to use this wavelength for the measurement. This will also bring you back to the main menu. Select the display range for the carat measure value. We recommend to use the auto mode. This will assure that the number and units displayed match the intensity measured. To select the auto mode, navigate to the RNG field in the display screen and click on OK. In the range menu, select the second field in the menu and toggle between auto on and auto off by clicking on the OK button. Exit the menu by navigating to the exit menu and click OK. You are now ready to place the power meter sensor on the microscope as described in the next tutorial.